Hi guys, so this is a video response to Kylie's mom 012005 for her birthday giveaway. She's having her 30th birthday and she is giving away two packs, full packs of 12x12 12 12, uh, collection cardstock pattern papers. And I thought I make a tutorial video when I'm putting together the card I'm gonna give her and she had a few rules you had to have pink and green as colors uh, you had to have at least two flowers and lots of bling so I thought I put my card together today I'm using this stamp by to read uh, called flora and I'm also using the coordinated uh, sentiment. And let's start assembling. The pattern paper is from this pattern paper. It's quite contrary by my mind's eye. So that's all the papers. And the cardstock is uh, Luxury Centura Pearl, uh, just because it's a good base for a card. And then it's coordinations for the background parts. To begin with, uh, the card is uh, five and three quarter times five and three quarters. The dark base here is then five and a half times five and a half. And the kind of base pattern paper is then five and a quarter times five and a quarter. So quite simple measurements to begin with. And I also want to join these. I had this lying around on my table and I thought I'd use it um, together with the pattern paper and this part. So first we are going to put the pattern paper onto this little piece of card. This is one inch and a quarter and this pattern paper is one inch. So the matten layer quite good. It's a little bit crooked but and then we're going to take this, uh, the length of both the, uh, of all of these are five and a quarter. Five inches and a quarter. Just put this over here and you have a board. I'm going to then just put this border over here. We are also having one using, yeah, one of the other rules where you have to have a doily. So I have a doily and I have distressed it with sponge sugar uh, distress ink. And just gonna glue this on down here in the corner. Then we have little Flora and we're gonna assemble her. We start with her base, that's the base and then as you have seen I have also decoupaged her. Um, it's fun to decoupage. So let's see. This is the best Thing about this glue, you can move her slightly around to fit perfectly. Like, whoop, like that. Then we just continue on with her head and her arms. A little bit on her ears. I really love this glue. Simple to use. And there are her head. And now we only have her hair left. And like that. Now we're gonna stick her down to the card. And we're gonna give her a little dimension too. So just using some more of these 
of this glue and just stick, well, sticking her down and trying to stick her down so she sits at the edge of that doily. Like that. And that's the... Actually, no, it's not done. I wanted to use some of these flowers that I got in somewhere. And we're gonna put them together up here in the corner. I like this uh, light pink. And they're a little bit blingy themselves. I really like that. And then we are going to use some bling and I have here. And my knife, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit. And I want to have small glittery blingy things in their hair. And now you have to be careful. If you do like me and you haven't haven't really let the glue dry. You don't want to push it too hard. You just want to put some, carefully, carefully put some bling into her hair. Like that. And try not to move too much so the glitter glue, the glue itself. It's, it's a little bit fiddly, but I really love my bling, so yeah. So, and we have that bling left. So we have a little bit of bling, and I also wanted to... She has small, small flowers on a dress. And I wanted to bling those up a little bit too. Like this. And there she has some bling. Now we're going to work on the inside and let this be off for a little while. And we're going to do a pretty simple inside. Um, we're using the same sizes of the... Papers. This is pattern papers are also from the same paper pack, and it's the same mats, same size of the mats. Like that, and I'm gonna do some stamping. I have my happy birthday. I have my happy birthday there. So we don't get an extra on the side, we're going to remove like that. I have cleaned it up and then we just make sure it's on the right side. And you have your happy birthday! And then we just put our adhesive on it. I'm gonna have it go the other way because I also have distressed this with the sponge sugar and have cut it out on my big shot. So I have some somewhere to write a sentiment, the uh, text message for. For her. And then we just gonna, this time we're actually gonna put our adhesive directly on the card as this hasn't really dried yet and I don't want to mess it up. On this though we can take it on the back side.
then we just put this there. And this is the card that I will be sending away. I uh, hope you like my video. Um, I'll see you on Sunday. Bye!